Hello, welcome back. This is 2E0IQJ. So today's video, we're going to look at some vintage tech and check this thing out. We have got ourselves a Nokia 3650 from around about 2003. Now, they did a Nokia 3660, which had a better keypad. This keypad's weird. It's rounded. You've got your joystick there, your rounded keypad. Bit hard to type on it when you're doing your texting. Once you got used to it, it was absolutely fine. And you've got your star hash there and you've got your menu button there. And you've got your screen there. And the good thing about this is if you broke the cover or break the screen, just took it down to the market and you bought yourself a new cover. Something which you can't do easily these days. On the side here, you've got nothing. On the top here, you've got your power button. On the back here, you've got a VGA camera. None of that megapixel rubbish. You've got your back there, which you can remove, which we'll take off in a sec. And on the side here, you've got an IDRA port, which is for infrared. And I used to have on my 3650 a... Um, serial port, IDRA adapter, and I used to send it ringtones, logos, and all sorts. Let's take the back off. Unclip, there we go. Here we have the Nokia battery, which is a genuine Nokia battery. Come on, you can come out. And there we go, let's turn it round. And this is a Nokia BL5C, check that out, and it's got the Nokia hologram there. Now inside the phone at the back, We've got ourselves a socket there for a memory card because it's used to an MMC card. No, it's SD card rubbish. It was the same as an SD card, but it was uh, slightly thinner. SD cards do not work in this phone. And these switches here hold the SD card, uh, the MMC card in. They also hold it in the SIM card. Now you could get a reduced size MMC card, um, which would work on like a uh, like a late late Nokia phone, I can't remember which is the one it worked on. And had a little adapter in there, but the adapter ten, tended to fall out. So you have it in your PC, reading the card, adapter would fall out on the floor, and then you you have your card stuck in the computer. Hard memories then, them days. But this is the, the MMC slot there. Now I'm going to put a SIM card in, we're going to see if this phone works. So we're going to put the SIM card in. It goes under the lock latch there, and then we can... Uh, Close it up, there you go. So it goes under that little notch there, and we close it up. Let's put the battery in. Now this wanted a, a charger, and I couldn't find a charger, reasonable price, they're all like eight, nine quid off eBay. Didn't want to pay that, so I found a car charger at the Amateur Rally, 50p, I'll just plug it in there to charge it. Let's turn the phone on, see if it fires up. Oh, check that out, we've got power. We've got a Nokia screen. Will it boot? Come on, you can do it. There we go. Got a knock your hands and it's saying, Vodafone, how are you? So this is a Vodafone phone that was unlocked. So I was to set the time, so we're going to leave it as that one, 5.04. And the date, 1st of the 1st, 2003. And there we go. If I do a star hash, all zeros and a hash, You'll see there it says version 2.50, uh, 13 02 2003, NHL 8. So there are, it's 2003 vintage. Check that out. You've got the weird keypad there, and that's your call button and your hang up button. Let's go into the menu. Now, first time you went into the menu, it went a bit jerky like this, but then it was fine. So you've got your telephone, you can see that. And you've got your contacts, your calendar, images. Messaging and camera. If I go to messaging, you've got new message, inbox, folders, mailbox, because you could get your mail off this phone. It wasn't no push push email. You had to actually log into the server to get your email. And I used to take a photograph of mine and then be able to email it to people. And it was like a big thing back in the day, just standing our days. Sent out box reports, because you can have reports to tell you that message has been delivered. Let's go back. Let's go into camera. There we go, we've got the VJ camera, we're going to portrait. We go again, and it says night because you've got night vision. A little bit jerky. And we can take, if we go options, and we can go capture, take a photograph. See there, we've taken a photograph, we we'll go options. And I can then send that via multimedia, Bluetooth, and infrared. It will take videos as well. If we go to images, we'll see there's the butterfly. There's the bungee jump. 
There's a the Vodafone How Are You. See the way that loaded up just then? And there's the one I've just taken. Oh, God, look at that. It's got a loading image. Load image. If I go back, you got picture messaging. Do you remember these? You've got the heart. Let's go and make them bigger. Heart. You've got the house. You've got the coffee cups. And you've got a birthday cake. You'd send that, sign up your birthday to someone. That's what we used to do before the use of WhatsApp and Twitter and stuff. And if you've got anything on a memory card, you could read the pictures and stuff on a memory card. You've got a video recorder. So let's click on video recorder. And there's already a video in there. So I press options and let's play the video. There you see there, I've recorded my power supply. I've gone across and I've recorded the Zoom HD that I've been recording audio on. And go back to power supply now. It records in three jot. A uh, 3GPP format, and you get about 12 seconds or 10 seconds, something like that, if I remember rightly. And you used to use a Nokia converter to convert AVR files to 3GPP and watch them on the phone. Nowadays, that's just standard. Go back. You've got services. You've got the Vodafone Live chat and so on. You've got fun and games. This is their WAP services. Nice uh, internet rubbish. Basically, it was the internet. You could get you get the news and stuff on the web. That's how we used to do it back in the day. If I go to a real one, click on that one, click on the video, and you'll see the real one player is now playing the video that I shot earlier with this phone. Check it out. We're playing on a real one player. And again, if you've got a memory card, you can play videos on the memory card. Let's go back. Again, it's going to say no memory card inserted. You got games. Apps, let's go on the apps or applications we have. Nothing installed on the phone and nothing downloaded. But you could send it a .sys file via infrared or Bluetooth and you could uh, install stuff like different games and all sorts of things. I had Doom on my 76, uh, 7650 and a Commodore 64 emulator. If you go to profiles, here you can set up different profiles like generals and so on. If I click on general and we're going to go to personalize. And the one you want to hear. Is this one? There we go. Let's go down the ring ring. Let's go see what else we've got. Attraction. That keypad's terrible to let's go down. Remember these ones? God, I remember that one. People had that as a message tone. Oh. Let's go down and see what else. a hummingbird. It was like a disco tune, wasn't it? Intro. That was a standard one we used to have. And you can go and change it there, you change the ringtone, change the ring volume, and so on. You can set that for different profiles. So you can set up so you got so you got no sound, just makes it vibrate when it's on silent. And if I go down, you got help, a to-do list, you got your favourites, what else we got? Connect, extras, and sim. Now you got extras was like a voice recorder. Let's go to about. Hey, uh, copyright 2002, Nokia 3650, 20-year-old smartphone. you got your clock and you can pose it, make your own ringtones up. But let's have a look at what we all want to see. If you go up to your log there, what's tools? Oh, you got settings and all sorts there. Let's just have a look what else we want, what we want to see was. God, this keypad's terrible. Games. And you've got Mixpick and Snake EX. Check it out. Options. They could do two player via Bluetooth or infrared. Select. Could do maze one. Is it gonna play? Oh look at that. Very slow, very jerky. Spent hours on this, probably one of the most played games of all time. Nokia Snake, but who never had a Nokia back in the day? There we go, let's go back. Game paused. Close. Now when you quit the applications, you have to hold down 
Remember rightly, it's this button here, the menu button. And you can see there, it gives you a list of open applications. So the only one that's open is a telephone. Right, this video's gone on long enough, 10 minutes or so. This is a Nokia 3650. Get a quick look at the Nokia 3650. Got a lot of old other vintage tech phones, like a 7650 somewhere. Got a couple of N-gages. I've got, um, I think I've got a 3210. I also think I've got a, a 7110 with the infrared and the rollerball. Anyhow, if you found the video some use, I would do give it a thumbs up. Don't know the video, that button seems to work too, but we had a look at Nokia 3650. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0IQJ for Vintage Nokia, 7-3 for now.